Hi beauties, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Ashley. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and hit that bell notification button so you know when I upload. So today's glam, honey, I'm bringing you an OG classic look. We are diving into a black smoky eye. So if you would like to see how I created this look, also it includes brows. From start to finish, keep watching. Hi beauties, so let's get into this black smoky eye. So I had a few requests to do my brows on camera. So let's get into these brows. And they need to be done, honey. I have not seen Latch Me. I am struggling, okay? Between my allergies and work schedule, they are trying to take me out. So let's get into these brows. So first things first, I like to brush my brows up and away because we love a snatched brow. So I do like to go in with my dip brow pomade. This is an Anastasia Beverly Hills. So I utilized this long ago. I remember I had this when it first dropped and I had chocolate. Oh honey, I don't know what I was doing. I didn't know what I was doing at that time. The brows came out crazy. But now that we have a little bit more control, I'm going in with a angled brush that looks like this with some product on it. And then I'm just gonna trace my brow. So I start with the bottom half and I kinda just make short strokes and just trace the shape of my brow like so. I just really like to take my time with this. I just keep going till I get to the front of my brow. And it's okay if it looks a little boxy in the beginning because I like to blend in my brow with my nose contour. So being that my brows are a little out of shape right now, this is fine. Once I clean it up with some concealer, I'll be able to carve out the desired shape that I'm looking for. So I just repeat the same thing on the other side. Now I know one of my brows is shorter than the other, but please remember your brows are sisters, not twins. So I know they start to look a little crazy. It's fine, it's fine, we're gonna clean this up. So I'm going with my e.l.f. 16 hour camo concealer. This is in deep cinnamon. Now I use this and I trace underneath my brow with the product on the wand, just like this. And I cover my lid since I do have some hyperpigmentation on my lid. And I do the same to the other side. I just try to make sure there's enough product underneath my brow, carve it out. So now I just take like a flat angle brush and then carve out these brows, honey. So I just tap on each side so that it gets product. And then I just start at the front of the brow. I hold it at an angle like this, a slanted angle, just so I can carve out the brows. And then once I get to the middle of my brow, I carve out that arch. And then I do the same to the other side. So this is how it should be looking. And then I just blend out the rest of the concealer underneath my brow, down my lid. As I said, I have hyperpigmentation on my lids. So this just creates an even canvas. Now, because this is a matte concealer, honey, she sets. I don't have to set this with a powder. I can just go right in. So these are the brows, honey. Now let's get into this eyeshadow look. So I'm thinking about doing a black smoky eye. Now, as I said, makeup has no rules, honey, so I could wear a black smoky eye anytime, okay? So it has been a while, and I don't even think I've done a black smoky eye on this channel. So I did this look when I went out with my cousin to celebrate reaching 1,000 subbies. So why not bring it back? So we're going to go into the Jaclyn Hill palette. So we are mostly going to go into about three shades. So we are going to go into these reddish brown colors right here and of course black, okay? Some people do like to put down eyeliner as a base. Not really me, it's not that serious. I could just go in with some eyeshadow. So I definitely need to wash my brushes, don't judge. I'm gonna go into those two reddish brown shades and we are going to blend, okay? So I'm just starting in the crease. So as I said, the concealer sets itself, so I don't need to set it with any powder. I can just go directly in with my eyeshadow. So I'm just going with those reddish brown colors. I cannot believe spring is already here. It has come so quickly, but this allergy season beauties, oh my gosh, it is taking me out. I literally have to take my Allegra in the evening time because then by the time I wake up early, I am miserable. 
Oh my gosh, it is so bad. I don't know what they put in the pollen this year, but oh my goodness, it has come with a vengeance. And to be quite honest, the Allegra, it's, it's doing its job, but it's just, I literally have to take around the clock. I'm just blending that in my crease. It's okay if it's not exactly perfect because we are just going to blend that out. So I wanna make sure that this reddish brown color is being shown. So I'm just going to blend out the edges of that color with a plain fluffy brush. I am surprised I have some clean blending brushes because this is what happens when you have a decent stash of brushes. So I'm just blending out the edges of that color into the concealer that's already on my lid. Just blending that out, creating an even canvas. So this is essentially what it should look like. And now we can go in with the black. Very simple. We love that. So beauties, Mother's Day is coming up. Those of you that are mothers, guardians, all of the above, do you have any plans? I'm an aunt, but I don't know. I'm thinking of like what to do for my mom this year. I think I might, well not might, but I wanna take her out. But I'm just trying to figure out where. I can't say too much because she tunes into my channel, okay? Love the support. Thanks, mom. But yeah, I'm trying to figure out where to take her. So I'm just packing this on with a wider flat brush because it's just going to cover that circumference for me. I'm just taking it up into the crease a little bit and hitting that outer V and getting the lash line. But yes, beauty, do you guys have any plans? Are you taking anyone out? That's also exciting too. Don't you just love the look on someone's face when you surprise them with something either they want or just with a good time? It is such a nice feeling to just like bask in that. So yeah, it's, it's exciting. I cannot wait to take her out. I'm still going back and forth. I'm just adding a little bit more of that black from the blend from the flat brush that I used on my lid, just to make sure we got all areas. And then I'm just going in with that plain fluffy brush just to make sure that that is blended into the crease because we want this to be seamless. Okay, no harsh lines. And then back in with that same brush that I used the crease colors with. I'm just gonna go back in and mix those two reddish brown colors and I'm just hitting the top of that black color just to make sure we didn't lose that reddish brown. And then back in with that plain fluffy brush just to like sweep it back and forth. So we are locked in. So this is what the eye look looks like. Very quick, very simple. We love that. So let's pop on some lashes, okay? Alrighty, so lashes are popped on. These are IMV Mink. IMV Kiss Mink lashes. I always mix that up. So let's just already go in for a full coverage. So I haven't picked this up in a while. This is my Charlotte Tilbury. This is the Airbrush Flawless Foundation. Um, this is the Stay All Day and All Night Long Wear. And this is in the shade 14 Neutral. Now, that's the shade I am in Miss Charlotte. But this is a bomb foundation. So let's find some of a clean brush in here. I mean, they're all the same shade. Alrighty. So this is really full coverage. So I think I just went in with like three pumps. And it might look a little crazy at first. But trust me, it blends out and it looks absolutely stunning. I didn't really think Charlotte was going to deliver in terms of this type of full coverage complexion because she always gives me like skin and dewy, but this foundation eats. Yeah, this foundation is so full coverage, no color correcting is necessary. And again, I went in with like three pumps, so I'm pretty sure you can use two. So for concealer, I'm gonna go in with Max Pro Longwear Concealer, and this is an NW35. So I'm just gonna go right in. So I'm just gonna go right in with a bright concealer. As I said, I didn't really need to color correct. So I just pumped a little bit on the back of my hand, and now I'm just gonna go directly in with this foundation. Since I pretty much brought the foundation up, 
so when I do do a black smoky eye I kind of opt for more of like a like not a pinky nude lip a beige nude lip or more of like a brighter under eye since the eyes are already darker so yeah I tend to gravitate more towards a brighter under eye I'm just going in with like about a half a pump more just to make sure that we are covered in terms of coverage. This concealer is so bomb. It is creaseless. It is everything. So again, I have this in NW30. This is NW35 and I also have NW40. I feel like this should have been like a NW37 or something. That probably would have been a perfect one, but this concealer is so bomb. While that is settling, I know I haven't used this blush in a while. You know what? Maybe I'll go in with the pink. Can't harm it, right? So I'm just going to go in with the Rare Beauty. This is the liquid blush in Lucky. So pretty. So while that's hanging out, let's cream contour. So I'm going with Fenty Beauty's Matchstick in Espresso. We're just going to cream contour there. Let's get this forehead. And then I'm going to blend this out. So you already know I like to go in with a dual fiber brush. And by the way, this Charlotte Tilbury foundation definitely does dry down quickly. And so does this, and so does this MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. They, the two of them are nothing to play with. Okay, they will dry down on you quick, fast, and in a hurry. So make sure you are blending them out expeditiously. Oh my gosh, not me getting the blush all over. I'm going to use the back of my beauty blender and just blend that out on my cheeks. And just making sure, like I know it might look a little crazy right now, but just making sure that this is blended out under my under eye. So this is what the liquid blush looks like blended out. I'm just going to go back in and make sure that we didn't lose my cream contour. And yes, it looks stunning. So now let's set this under eye. Really falling back in love with Laura Mercier. Not that she ever left, but she has like taken a seat a little bit. So this is the this is the Laura Mercier translucent powder. This is the ultra blur setting powder. So this is the one that is talc free. So we're gonna use this to set the under eye. So as always, you know, I go in with my sponge, I dip in it first, tap the back of my hand, and then go in for the kill. I'm just going back in and just making sure we are pressing that powder in, because again, we are going for a brighter under eye. So you just wanna make sure we are all set to go. So we're just gonna let that hang out for a little bit. We're just gonna bake the under eye a little. So now for foundation powder, let's go with some, you know what I haven't used in a minute? My Makeup Forever powder. I can't believe I put that down because honey, she wasn't getting any red. So I'm gonna go in with the OG. This is the Makeup Forever. This is the Matte Velvet Skin Blurring Powder Foundation. And this is in Y505. So y'all already knew I stocked up on this. I don't trust the new one, I'm sorry. I just, I have no desire to try it. Um, mainly because I don't even like the new foundation. I did like it, but as you saw in my products, I regret purchasing. Honey, no. Not anymore. So yeah, I'm not sure I'm ready to commit to that because I just do not like disappointment. in certain things, especially when it's something that just didn't need any fixing. Okay, we didn't ask for a new powder. Y'all need to start listening to the consumers, okay? Alrighty, so now we can bronze. So I have the Jaclyn Hill Cosmetics Sun Bathe Press Bronzer in Poolside. So this is what she looks like. She is absolutely gorgeous. It's going to hit high up on these cheekbones, honey, because your cheekbones are high up, not low down. You're definitely trying to leave that under eye bright. So now for blush. Honestly, I really feel like Lucky is super pigmented to the point where it outshines love a little bit. I feel, you know, cause it's really powering through. But I'm definitely going to add one of my faves. Actually, I think I have an OG blush from MAC that I have not used in forever. Let's blow the dust off of her. I even think they make this. This is Dolly Mix. 
by MAC. Oh my gosh, I don't even think they, of course they don't make this anymore. This is what she looks like. So you know they be getting rid of all the good stuff. So I'm just gonna go in and add a little bit on my cheeks. She's cute, this looks good. So to set this under eye, I'm going with the Urban Decay All Nighter. This is their waterproof setting powder in translucent. Definitely still diving into some of my newbies. So just still going in with my sponge, multi-purpose honey. And I'm just going to lock that in under the under eye. Because again, we're going for like that snatched under eye, that little bit of brightness. So let me smoke out my lash line and then I'll be back for the lip. And we are back. So this is essentially what the look would look like. Now we're just missing the lip. Mm. This is not sponsored, but have y'all tried an ice matcha latte from Starbucks? Now I know, you know, the girls like to say matcha tastes like grass, but you gotta get it with oat milk. And so I get mine venti with light ice with oat milk, no regular milk, honey, because we're lactose. And then I get eight pumps of brown sugar syrup. When I tell you I'm addicted, this is my second one for the week. I'm starting to feel like the people that can't start their day without coffee. Who have I become? But it is so bomb. Y'all have to try it if you like matcha. My sips in before this lip. So let's get started with this lip. I've really been loving this Sephora lip liner. This is their Rouge Gel Lip Liner in Molasses. This is number 17. Love, love, love this. So we're gonna, of course, start off with the brown lip liner. You know what? I have not used any of these Anastasia Beverly Hill lippies on my channel. And I bought like a good majority of them. But I have. But yeah, so I have the Anastasia Beverly Hills. This is the Butterscotch Satin Lipstick. I definitely did a video swatching all of these. So this is what Butterscotch looks like. Super cute. It's, looks, it's just like a nice beige nude. So we're going to start off with this. Now we need a gloss. I think I'm gonna go with my Pat McGrath gloss because I was gonna go in with Morphe, but we need to add Mother. Also, this is one of my favorite glosses. So this is Pat McGrath's gloss. This is the Lust Gloss in Faux Real. So this is a beautiful beige nude. Oh, love, love, love this gloss. So we're just gonna add this on top. We're just missing some highlighter, so I'm going to go in with Rare Beauty's highlighter in Flaunt. And there we have it. This is the finished glam. So I hope you beauties enjoyed this black smoky eye full coverage soft glam. Let me know your thoughts down below. Of course, everything will be linked for you. And as always, beauties, thank you so much for the continued love and support. And as always, I'll catch you in my next one. Thanks for watching.